when dogs uh, do s suddenly develop a behaviour change, it's always important to rule out pain, and that's why any really credible behaviourist, in my humble opinion, should work via vet referral. Um, and I think vets have a really hard time um, in their small, you know, depending on the vet practice and their, you know, their practice, but actually spotting some of the really subtle stuff because they have a very small window you know so if there's a very subtle bit of hip dysplasia um going on or something like that and you know vets seen a dog in their practice for 10 minutes um you know it might still seem they might have said this dog has no pain and um we consider it to be a behavior problem and you know we absolutely respect the vet's um perspective but i do think that they can have a hard time in that short consultation window um, you know, and if they don't take the dog outside of that small consultation room to see it moving and also, you know, bearing in mind a lot of dogs when they are in the vets um, may mask their pain because of the arousal they're experiencing in that environment. So we always should, regardless of if we get a vet referral or not, should always have um, pain as a differential um, 